Mr. Patel, finally the arrest. The seer was taken to the hospital. He walks inside. Then a medical team declares that he has had a cardiac arrest. Then he refuses to make a physical appearance. Finally, the court sees through his lies and orders him to appear and then sends him to custody, not hospital. Why should we believe that even now the investigation will be fair? I think uh, this Karnataka investigating authority is a mock making a mockery of this uh, POSCO Act. In fact, they have not done anything uh, for six days. They have not inquired him. After arrest also, he has not been inquired. He has not been indicated. And uh, <coughs> nothing has happened. <coughs> Today he said that he is unwell and he has been taken to hospital. Hmm. Probably this is one more problem, I feel, because I understand anybody will have the health problem. But the health problem, it doesn't mean that at this juncture, hmm. at the same time, the, uh, look at the girls. They have they have suffered almost two and a half years, three years. That one has to see. And I would request uh, the investigating authorities to listen to the inner uh, voice of their own. And judicial officers also should do the same. Because here, the seer is absconding from the responsibilities of answering the questions. Yes, I feel and the they the are making are a mockery listening. of post act, which is Absolutely. a very, very stringent law. They are making the mockery of the procedure. They are making mockery of every system. The politicians are giving him cover fire. They have been making statements to pre pre uh, you know, prejudice the case as well. Mr. Venkatesh, uh, we are looking at this uh, you know, petition that was filed by a group of lawyers in the Karnataka High Court. They had demanded free and fair investigation. And of course, the arrest happened yesterday. I'm trying to understand from you, sir, uh, given that even after arrest, the process of law has not been followed, that the court was not informed that he is being shifted to a hospital, that this entire medical board of, uh, you know, uh, local doctors declared him uh, medically not fit in the sense that he could have had a heart attack. All these theories that have been built around it to give him some kind of safety or maybe perhaps move him to a hospital, but the court sent him to police custody instead. Can we really believe that there will be justice even now? See, police are all, uh, and in such cases, I uh, have officiated as a state public prosecutor. We have seen a number of cases. I have been a special prosecutor in Pokso cases. When the case has uh, uh, some political importance, the police are always under tremendous pressure. I think one, we should, uh, we should understand that in the given context in this case, he being seen as one of the very prominent uh, Lingayat Mats in uh, Karnataka and the kind of clout he enjoys uh, in political sphere, irrespective of the political party. You can see that there is absolutely total silence from any political party making any statement in respect of in support of the survivors. It's really shocking and it demonstrates the amount of clout this person has. So therefore, the protests are happening across Karnataka. There has been a serious demand now that this case need to be transferred out of state for a proper investigation, proper trial. So, so do you because think that is the it only way? Is really yes. That is not going to benefit. So, the so, second reason, yes, second please, reason which I would like to state is that in this particular case, the six days of time after the complaint not being arrested, demonstrate the kind of space available for a person, destroy what's available in is one of the major challenges that we see in any criminal case. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is that any case of this nature, more particularly POKSO, which is on the very stringent class. In this case, POKSO and Prevention of Atrocities Act, where he is not entitled to anticipate the bail at all. And in such case, that the police don't take action and the officers the audacity to make a statement. It's the choice of the police to uh, check whether to arrest or not to arrest in whichever the case. I think that it demonstrated the amount of pressure that the officer was putting. Yes, but and you know, he, Mr. Venkatesh, who, you know why, why I say that it's problematic from the day one? Because 
if he was running away, if he was trying to flee to Dubai, the documents and the passports were missing from Mutt. That very moment when he was, you know, stopped at Haveri, sent back to the Mutt, that very moment he should have been arrested. That did not happen. He instead goes to the scene of crime where that, that Muruga Mutt, where he, the, the seer, uh, he, he belongs to that Mutt. He represents that Mutt. Instead, what we see is that girls are taken to that by the child welfare uh, group and they are made to relive that horror with the pontiff, the person who has, uh, you know, abused them right next to them. Next what to kind of law that we are looking at? What kind of investigation is really happening here? Really very shocking because the amount of pressure that the police are. That's precisely the reason where the, there has been a loud demand for the case be transferred out of the state because people don't feel comfortable in this that with the kind of political clout the person has there's little possibility of uh, justice therefore that's the fear that is being expressed you must really thank uh, Vodanadi for yes. coming up with such case where they have done given confidence to these Absolutely. girls to open up and make a statement yes it's really it would not have been possible at all KV Stanley I think Vodanadi has been working on this for quite Absolutely. some time on this Right based Stanley, issues. I'm really the, proud this, that the, this, uh, we know Stanley yes. and Purushu. Thank you. The yes, which they your have efforts done. being lauded and rightly so uh, by Mr. Venkatesh, by Mr. Patil and several others. All of them are of the opinion that this was a fight uh, which has just begun. But in this fight, there will be several uh, ups and downs. Serious challenges. Yeah. Very yes, serious challenges. Very serious challenges. Mr. Stanley, uh, when you look at what has happened even post the arrest? Are you still hopeful that there will be justice or, this sh or should this be a court monitored probe or an SID? Mm -hmm. See, there, there is, justice is always there. It is, it's, it is depending on the same system of st stakeholders like right from the NGOs to the judiciary. Mm -hmm. We should, uh, you sh we, sh we should take uh, this forward with all our integrity. We should not be, you know, uh, uh, act like stupid people or like corrupt people while attending these high profile cases, especially. This is the time to show our integrity. It, this is the time to show, this is the chance given to some professionals or judiciary, advocate or NGO or whoever may be to prove his integrity. I think uh, from day one, we have uh, observed a series of uh, lacunas in the investigation or uh, the procedures right from CWC to uh, the police officers, how they have handled this case. On this uh, uh, basis, I have my own inhibitions about uh, the justice, amount of justice which will be given to this Young, and and uh, we share uh, your inhibition. Children. So Mrs. I Stanley. am I am suggesting I am suggesting. Yes, please. Probably hmm. to get rid of the pressure to hmm. get rid of the pressure. This this kind of cases, or this, particularly this case, should be shifted to the neighboring states of Tamil Nadu or Kerala, where the police of that states are, you know, more free and they can investigate better. 